welcome to Coast of Mad Ian on YouTube. Today I am at Europa Park in Germany. Um, Join with Lee and Alexander. Hello. 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 And Brandon. Hello. Um, yeah, so yeah, today's going to be a good day uh, to get on plenty of rides such as Blue Fire, Mega, Mega Coaster, and Silver Star as well. Yeah, that was really good. So yeah, come and join me throughout Germany at Europa Park. Here we go. Matterhorn Blitz, um, a clone of like Rattlesnake and Wild Mouse XXL. Uh, yeah, really smooth. Um, I love the um, love the lift hill as it uh, goes up diagonal. It's well weird. Um, but yeah, what did you enjoy? Yeah, it's really good. Yeah, my favourite. Uh, my favourite. Right. Yeah, it's really weird. It was a really, really smooth coaster as well, and really high as well. So yeah, really enjoyed that. <laughs> so we're just about to head on to Euromere now, uh, one of the most anticipated rides here. Um, yeah, it goes around all the towers and everything and it's a uh, clone of Storm Chaser. So yeah, this looks really cool, so see you after I come off Euromere. off of the spinning Euro meal. Um, yeah, that was a really good ride actually. Uh, you spent longer on the uh, lift hill than the uh, than the actual ride, but yeah, all the helixes, the cars spinning as well, um, really makes the ride actually. Uh, the theming is really good as well, um, and it's really high as well, so yeah, going around the towers as well, um, but yeah, really good. So. Yeah. 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 It's a new shower cap, but... You ready? Now! 3, 2, 1! On hold! Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Early 
on the rapids. <laughs> yeah. Oh god, straight on it. It got the whole Oh no. Headed for us. Whoa. Oh god. Whoa. Oh, oh no. Oh, oh wow, that's good. Yeah. That was absolutely amazing. Better than the ones in the UK. I still prefer Mystery Quest though at um, River Quest at uh, Fantasyland. But yeah, absolutely amazing uh, rapids. Um, the indoor section, all the waterfalls and everything, and you got absolutely drenched on it. Um, really wish that um, the rapids in the UK can be like that because um, they have got so much potential in the UK. But yeah, absolutely incredible, and I'm absolutely drenched as well. So yeah. Having a good day here at your own park. off the Woden, uh, the uh, woody coaster here. Um, yeah, really good. Um, plenty of air time and plenty, uh, the first drop as well, uh, flung you into the uh, drop. Uh, the good layout as well, but yeah, it's very, uh, it's very quick. Like, I think it could have been a long enough uh, cycle, but yeah, it's too quick. Um, it's over in a matter of seconds, but yeah, it's still a really good coaster and um, the airtime and the helixes and that are really good. Uh, it is quite smooth as well, um, but yeah, I do prefer it to Wickerman um, here. So yeah, it's definitely up there in my top 10. Uh, what do you think of Woden? Love it, actually, yeah. It's probably one of my favorite wooden ghosts. Yeah, yeah. Save me a little bit. How <laughs> oh, was it, Brandon? <laughs> 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 
Oh, it. Oh, oh, good. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> oh. Just come off of Atlantica, the super splash um, water coaster here at Europa Park. Uh, yeah, really good ride. Um, the drop is really uh, steep and very intense, and I absolutely got soaked on it. Absolutely incredible coaster. Um, yeah, so really good theming as well, like pirate themed, and the backwards drop as well, the backwards element at the top of the lift hill, uh, really good um, bit to the walls of the rides. But yeah, you get really wet on it. We were sitting on the front row, um, but yeah, it's a really good coaster. The magical journey uh, yeah that was really good I uh, didn't understand the story that much though but yeah really good theming it was a bit of a weird ride um, but yeah it reminded me a bit more of like Drum Vlonk at F tell him but yeah it's a good ride um, but didn't understand the story too much but yeah worth a go when you come to Europa Park uh, quite intense in some places as well like all the helixes all the head choppers and everything uh, the set pieces are really good as well and um, love it how you spin around on it as well um, yeah they got some really good decent rides here at Europa Park and yeah brilliant Hold on. Ken, 
again. Off of the Can Can coaster here at Europa Park. Absolutely amazing coaster that was. Really catchy soundtrack. Yeah, really good coaster. Uh, inside the um, dome as well, which is really cool. Uh, really well themed as well. It reminded me of a bit of like Vogel Rock at uh, F-Telling. Uh, but yeah, loving the uh, lift hill as it goes up the spiral. Um, the Eiffel Tower right at the uh, beginning end of it which is really cool uh, quite intense as well it made you quite dizzy as well but yeah really good coaster um, and really well themed as well how did you like the uh, can can coaster <laughs> yeah. oh yeah really yeah it's quite intense actually yeah I remembered it Oh, loving the uh, Silver Star uh, queue line as well. Proper cars as well, F1 cars. So yeah, really nice. Really well themed. off of the hyper coaster here at Europa Park Silver Star. Um, absolutely amazing. I do prefer that to uh, Hyperion at Energylandia. Honestly, the airtime on that was absolutely incredible. Shame about the trim bits on the airtime hills though, because um, they do slow the train down quite a lot. But yeah, the airtime and the helixes and the ride itself is just incredible. So smooth and so oh, absolutely amazing ride that was. Uh, what do you think of Silver Star here? Yeah, it was really good actually. I yeah. really enjoyed that. Really good. Yeah, yeah absolutely incredible ride. <laughs>
So, just come off of the second water coaster here at Europa Park. Oh my god, that was amazing. Like two, two drop special. Uh, got really wet on it as well. Um, slightly jolty on the old um, water coaster. But yeah, nothing too drastic. But yeah, it was amazing. Um, love the layout of it. Love all the fountains. Love how clear the water is as well. Um, and yeah, you did get really wet on them, so that's really cool. Because um, you would expect that from a water coaster. But yeah, just. Off the uh, bobsleigh here at Europe Park. Um, I haven't done that many of them uh, sort of rides, so I've only done the Avalanche at Blackpool Pleasure Beach. But yeah, really good um, ride, a bit rattly around the track. Uh, it is quite an old one, I think it is the first one um, built. So yeah, it is an, quite an old classic here at Europe Park. But yeah, it's still a really enjoyable ride. Going around the Switzerland area as well, uh, really well themed. And yeah, I do like the theme in here. All the different um, countries, going around the different countries around the park, uh, including that uh, England area as well. So yeah, it's really nice park. Um, I'm really enjoying it so far. Yeah, really, really picturesque as well. So yeah, Euro Park has also got a load of fountain shows as well, what happens every like 15 minutes or something. They stop the uh, main fountains and uh, the fountains the music, which is really cool. So yeah, these are really nice. Really nice picturesque park. We're just going and going and experience the log flume now. I love good log flume in a park. Um, so yeah, see you after I come off Europe Park's log flume. Uh, we have done quite a lot of um, water rides today. So yeah, they have got a bit of everything here. So yeah, see you when I come off the log flume. off of the uh, parts log flume I don't know what it's actually called it's got a really hard name but yeah it was a really good log flume especially the first drop it absolutely a wave just came over honestly it was very a uh, soaker uh, the big drop wasn't as um, wet though but yeah a really good decent log flume here at Europa Park <laughs> I love the decor at Europa Park, honestly, all the themed areas and everything, it's really nice and themed. So we are just he heading towards Snorri Tories uh, dark ride in the park. Uh, the rain has come down here at uh, Europa Park and all the main rides are closed. They're a bit brown bread, but yeah. <laughs> We're just gonna go on Snorri Tories, the indoor dark ride. Way.
just on this another dark ride, the pirate one. So yeah, I'll take you around. Uh, Sorry's was really good, uh, good um, layout as well, and a good little dark ride. So we just come off of the uh, pirate ride here at Euro Park. It was a really good, uh, really well detailed uh, pirate ride actually. Um, yeah, a water ride. We got quite wet on it as well. Um, it does have a uh, drop special in there. And yeah, really well detailed. Honestly, one of my favourite water rides that is. doing Voluntarium here at Europe Park, uh, the Flying Theatre here. I have done quite a few of these Flying Theatres now, so yeah, hopefully this will um, lead up to the expectations here. Um, yeah, I have heard some really good things about this. I think it opened up. Hello, just queuing up for Blue Fire, um, the mega coaster here at Europa Park. Oh my god, yeah, it's finally opened um, again uh, after the thunderstorm earlier. So, yeah, can't wait to go and experience Blue Fire. Whoa, hey! <laughs> yeah, so here we go. See you after I come off yep. Blue Fire.
come off of Blue Fire, the mega coaster here at Euro Park. Oh my God, that was absolutely incredible. The hang time, the head choppers, the helixes. Um, yeah, absolutely incredible what made that coaster. Uh, I could, I did want it to be a little bit more intense. Uh, some of the, uh, some of the track was a bit slow in some places, but the hang time on that loop and the hang time everywhere was absolutely amazing. Um, I don't know where it sits in my top 10 because it is definitely a top 10 ride uh, in my rankings of roller coasters. But yeah, haven't, but yeah, it's absolutely incredible coaster and really high in my rankings. I just loved it. It's just so smooth as well. Um, just the lap bar restraint as well. And they also film you on the rides so you can like buy a film as well. But yeah, absolutely amazing. What do you think of Blue Fire? Amazing. Yeah, absolutely That's amazing. Right. You're going to ask me then? Yeah. Yeah, what do you think of oh, Blue I Fire? Done it yet. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, absolutely amazing. Welcome to day two on Europa Park in, in Germany. Uh, yeah, today we are going to focus on more of the um, dark rides and re-rides as well. Um, yeah, so that's going to be awesome. Uh, we did do a lot of roller coasters yesterday. Blue Fire was uh, up there in my uh, top ten and Woden as well. Uh, still joined with Lee and Alexander and Brandon. Yeah, so yeah, it's going to be awesome. Um, so yeah, looking forward to it. Yeah, can't wait. Yeah, can't wait. yeah, the weather isn't too good today. It is raining, but it is forecast to rain, so yeah. But yeah, today's going to be a good day, so yeah. Can't wait to get back on Woden and Blue Fire. We're also going to try out the um, Fruit Loop today, uh, which is the roller coaster sort of restaurant here at Europa Park. So yeah, this is going to be an awesome day. Um, yeah, so come and join me for day two at Europa Park. Let's go! <laughs> We are just standing outside the new area in Croatia. Um, yeah, it's looking really nice. Um, as you can see uh, behind, there is a track being in place for 2024. Um, yeah, so I can't wait to go and experience um, the new coaster for 2024 next year. Um, it's looking really nice. So yeah, can't wait. A new area as well. So. New areas are always good when we come to theme parks and new rides and new crits. This is the coaster that's going to be. Yeah. 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 It's a bit like Lost Gravity train actually, not this one. Yeah. Yeah, look, it's going to interrupt <laughs> <laughs>
on a few rides in the time that I spoke to you. Uh, we've done the pirate ship, the parts pirate ship, which was really good. Um, and the runaway mine train, choo choo. Um, I love the, how it contacts with the log flume as well. Like, um, and going into this really nice tunnel, uh, this gemstone tunnel, uh, which is really nice, really. Uh, the theming is so nice at Europe Park. Um, and it, how it just contracts with the log flume as well, which is really cool. Uh, two lap special on the runaway mine train and a really fast powered mine train as well. So, yeah. I just come off of Blue Fire, the mega coaster here at Europa Park. Oh my God, that was absolutely amazing. Uh, yeah, it was even better uh, today than it was yesterday. Um, honestly, the actual track layout is absolutely amazing. I have also got the ride photo as well of all of us. Um, but yeah, absolutely amazing. And it really does sit highly in my top 10. Um, yeah, it's a little bit slower in some places, but honestly, that doesn't really matter to be fair. Um, but it's just so, such a good coaster. The hang time, the helixes, the head choppers, and all the theming around the ride. Uh, the launch is really good as well. But yeah, it's just an incredible coaster. And it's just uh, awesome, absolutely. Uh, I'm, not, I'm not a big fan yeah. of Levi, really. It's not really yeah. my type of ride. No, but. but yeah, you like it, don't you? I like it. Yeah. But yeah, it's just amazing. So yeah, we're just going to go and do Woden again, um, GCI Woody here at um, Europa Park. Uh, and I will say that is a top 10 coaster as well. Um, but yeah, the first drop on Woden is absolutely intense. So yeah, let's go. currently in the island area here at Europa Park honestly it's a really nice area it's mainly for the kids so uh, there's a lot of kids rides here and a lot of um, slides and everything um, but yeah really nice area uh, for the little ones to enjoy uh, they also got a bubble show um, just behind me here um, which is at 12 o'clock and 1500 um, but yeah really nice one uh, we just got also come off the um, London taxi ride um, got really good um, yeah really good ride that was uh, really intense as well uh, going around them corners um, but yeah really enjoying it Hello. Kenya Horror Laden. Laden. So yeah, this is going to look good. Really good for a start coming out of it. Going into it. So yeah. Wow.
Gold. amazing place this is um, what an awesome park and the theming and all the rides have been absolutely amazing um, I think Silver Star has been my favorite um, roller coaster here at the park and sits firmly in my top 10 um, the park in general is absolutely stunning so many shows so many entertainment all the roaming actors as well uh, all the uh, all the other countries as well, the flat rides, um, it's such a really well put together park. 
Uh, can't wait to see the new coaster in the new year because um, that looks absolutely incredible. The last piece went in today um, for the new coaster in the uh, Karocha area. Um, but yeah, it's just been a really good uh, two days. Um, Woden as well has really been really good. Blue Fire Mega Coaster and just the theming around the park. Um, yeah, it's been incredible. Fruit, food Loop as well, the roller coaster restaurant, one of the first ones. And all the other coasters have been really good. Um, so yeah, and nice to spend it with Lee and Alexander and Intech G Falls. Go and check them out on YouTube channel. And don't forget to like, subscribe, and comment on my videos. Thank you for watching Coast Maddie and goodbye. Ha, ha, ha.